Hello everybody, welcome to a new Let's Play. This is a game I've been really, really looking forward to that I can really only describe as Harry Potter meets Paper Mario meets like Fire or Earthbound and also Fire Emblem because it's like a strategy little JRPG, but it seems super neat. I should really let the game speak for itself, but uh, yeah. Let's hop in. Ghostly Grove. Been looking forward to this one for a very long time. It it just seems so neat. It uh, has music created by uh, the composer for Steven Universe, which seems pretty cool. The trail ends here? You've got to be kidding me. Did I take a wrong turn? Uh, no, I'm sure you're fine. Uh, a tree just tried to impale you. Ah, yes. Magic trees. No big deal. I can fell must be close. I can fill. What is that? Is it some sort of Hogwarts establishment? Hello, X marks the spot. Another dead end? It's late. I guess I'll camp out here. Ah, uh, camping in a magical forest sounds fun. Whoop, I did not mean to skip that. Press A to search objects and pick up any items you find. I imagine she was probably like, let's get some firewood. You found firewood. Yeah, that's probably what she said. Yes. Art style is very earthboundy, and I personally think like humor and everything would be earthboundy. Um, I have played the demo before, so that's how I know a little bit about this. But combat, from what I remember, was very Paper Mario with action commands and stuff. But it took place on like a strategy JRPG plane, like Fire Emblem and stuff. You need some more wood. What? I collected all the wood here. How can I need more wood? Let's grab the stump. No? Is there... I guess there's maybe some on the previous screen? Oh, we can sprint. Cool. Aha! I found a firewood. I found another firewood. That's five firewood. Come on, that must be enough for a fire. Yes. Build our little campfire. Did you just use magic? There we go. It's a kitty. Oh, hey there, kitty. Oh, you want some fire too? Good plan. I'm guessing this is our main character? I'm starting to have regrets about coming here. My sister is probably fine. I bet she's just up to her usual trouble. She did tell me that there were cats all over Eichenfell. Apparently that's not unusual for a witching school, but it might mean I'm getting close. Uh... Hello? Hey, what's got you so spooked? I don't like this music. I also don't like you, weird... What? What? Who are... Um... Ah! My ears! Dementors? Be gone, ordinary human. That, that noise, please stop. You are no witch, no wizard. I know I'm not, but... Eichenfell is no place for ordinaries, muggles. <laughs> now be gone. But my sister, she is a witch, and... You will leave here, willing or not. Ooh, is this our first battle? It is. Ooh, listen to that music. In an encounter, your goal is to defeat the opposing team. Everyone takes turns moving around and performing actions. This is the turn order, so you can see who goes next. You'll want to keep an eye on this to avoid any nasty surprises. For sure. Alright, see, so it's kind of like Fire Emblem. It's still like a very limited plane, so we don't have like a whole world to move around on, but we do move like on a tile set like this. Now it's your turn. Move around with the those buttons and press A to confirm. Uh, so I think... We probably want to just wait here, right? This is your action menu. Choose an action and press A to confirm. If you want to move to a new position, press B to cancel. Hit a single target with a solid stone. So we can only throw stones right now. We don't have any sort of magic. I will hit you with a rock. Once you've chosen an action, choose a target and press A to confirm. If you can't reach a target, you can press B to cancel. Boom. 
This reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy Tactics A2, the snowball fight at the beginning of the game. Uh, ow. Something tells me I'm not gonna kill these ghosts with rocks. <laughs> Call it a hunch. Uh, well, we're gonna- we're gonna try anyway. We will. D die ghost! Eat stone. Unfortunately, rock isn't good against ghost type. If only you were flying ghost types. And I'm dead. Ah. Uh. All oh, of a good day's work, fellows. Hehe, <laughs> I love scaring them off. She put up a fight, though. I, I had a feeling those were probably, like, kids or something. Let's take her out of here before she regains consciousness. Things are strange enough at Eichenfell right now. We can't afford surprise visitors. Got it, boss. No, you don't. Wait, what was... Joke's on you, I'm the chosen one! Ow, ow, ow! What, what is this? What have you done to me? Boss, was that magic? Indeed it was. But magic like I've never seen before. Girl, why didn't you say you were a witch? I'm not a witch. I've never done anything like that before. What's happening to me? I... I can't say. This is completely unprecedented. And really cool. I agree. Can you do it again? Yes, watch me burn you alive. Again? I can't. Please, indulge us. Uh, we back in the battle? We are. Alright, ignite. Conjure a flame that deals full damage to a ranged target. And I can only choose one, it's not an AoE, so... Oops, I missed the action command there, it looks like. What fierce magic. Did you see that oops, though? It's because you missed your hit timing. Try once more. Uh, okay, so you guys are just gonna stand here and let me... set you on fire? I mean, whatever. All right, watch carefully this time. When you cast the spell, you should see a red ring. Okay. Right now, press the A button. Boom, nice. If you time your spells correctly, you'll get a nice or a great. Nice does more damage, but great is the most powerful. Every spell has a different hit timing, so pay close attention. All right, well, that's gonna take some getting used to. Okay, I, I blocked that, but... Oh, press the A button now. Nice. You can use the hit timing to defend against incoming attacks. A nice reduces damage, but a great means you barely get scratched. Every enemy attack is unique, though, so pay close attention. Indeed it is. Just like the Paper Mario games. Uh, boom. Got a great there. Mm. I quite like this battle music. Already. Got another great. Alright, I'm doing pretty well on you guys. Got you guys pegged, for sure. Boom, nice. Ow, oh, don't hurt me. Boom. Okay, apparently I'm pretty good at the guard. I'm just not super great at the actual action command here. I just got a nice again. <laughs> yeah, I'm not good at that one. Your magic is so cool. Oh, but you died. Unfortunate. Once again with the great. Can I do it? Can I successfully defeat them all? Okay, there we go. I finally got a great. Where are you going? Actually, now that I think about it, that model kind of looks like Vivian from Thousand Year Door. <laughs> Just missing a hat. And being incredibly adorable. Uh, okay. We're gonna murder. There we go. D does this mean I get to... I don't get to do the spooky voice anymore? Yes, you are now dead. You won't be doing any voices in hell. Oops, screwed that up. I imagine we probably gotta win this fight, so I need to be a little bit careful here. Come here, you. Nice. That's not what I need though, I need a great. Of course, I, I don't think there's any real danger in me losing now, especially if I keep nailing all these greats. Also, I just healed. 
Why did I just heal? I don't know. Probably because we're not supposed to lose this fight. Stupendous job, my dear. What a strange power. You're welcome. Enjoy hell. You have been purified. You found a smaller mushroom and a red mushroom. Yeah, we can use that to grow bigger. Well, this is very cute so far. I like this quite a lot. I mean, I played the demo before, so I already knew what I was in for, but I'm, I'm happy the full game seems to be living up to that. Incredible showing, young one. Let me introduce myself. I am Eok, captain of the Ghost Legion. EOC, Eok. I'm, 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 Eok's about the only way I can think of pronouncing that. Maybe I'm wrong, though. The woods around Eichenfell can be dangerous, strange magic and all. So our job is to keep ordinaries from venturing in. My... my name is Marit. Marit? 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 I'm gonna go with Marit. Do you know what's happening to me? Why can I do this? I have absolutely no clue! Many strange things have been happening around here as of late. It started out not long after the students left for summer, and the school is currently under lockdown. That explains why Safina never came home. We never got word. I was worried, so I traveled here to find her. Ah, the Hildegard girl. She is quite famous in these parts. You are her sister? I am. Do you know if she's okay? I'm sorry, there's been no word from Eichenfell since the lockdown. But sometimes students stay at the school during the summer. Saf always comes home. She would have told us. Well, I mean, if the school's in lockdown, I mean... Will you let me through to Eichenfell so I can find her? Uh, hmm. I must think on it. Rest here for the night. We will stand guard so you'll be in no danger. I mean, it seems like the only thing dangerous in this forest is you guys. Chapter 1, School of Magic. Yes, I'm so into this so far. I'm so into this. It's giving me, like, bug fables and earthbound and all these nice happy feelings in my stomach. And Undertale. Hmm. Good morning, young Marit. Iak, you're still here? So it wasn't all a dream. I'm really not sure how to pronounce that name except for Iak. Of course! Do you still wield your newfound powers? See if you can light the fire. I will try. Kablamo! Explosion! I guess that also wasn't a dream. I've decided we'll let you pass through to Eichenfell. How are you guys out in the daytime? Don't don't go state light. I hope you find your sister in good health. But also, it is a school of magic. So you might also find an explanation for your sudden powers. Thank you, Eok. I will open the way for you. Thank you kindly. Yeah, you tap that cane. Unfortunately, we cannot escort you further. The headmistress herself assigned us to stand guard here. It's okay. I can make it the rest of the way. There's just one thing. To open the passage beyond here, you must light two lanterns. A spirit residing within them observes all who pass through. Got it. May the great raven guide you, young fire witch. Yeah, I'm a young fire witch. Whoop. Hold up, young one. What now? There are strange creatures in the woods ahead. Your magic will be stronger if you have a way to channel it. Channel it? Like a... Wait, like a wand? I think is what she said. Correct, but it doesn't have to be a wand specifically. Any handheld object will do, especially if it's old and cherished. Those make the most powerful wands. Do you have anything like that? I have an old pocket knife I carry around. <laughs> That's perfect. You can press Y to access your items and equipment. Make sure you got it equipped before you move on. Yeah, let's equip this pocket knife and stab everything. Uh, equipment. Pocket knife. That is indeed a pocket knife. We have extra power from our pocket knife. Hello, what, what, what's this thing over your head? Be careful out there, young fire witch. Who's to tell what your strange new magic is capable of? Wait, we can buy stuff from you? Well, I have all of this stuff. 
Picks up leather shoes. Uh, they would lower my speed, but increase my defense. I'm not really sure what speed does. So I don't think I'll bother buying any of this stuff right now, but it's neat that he's a shop. Where did a dancer get off to? I want to sneak up and scare him. <laughs> Alright, later nerds. Forest of Secrets. Let's go. Hello, kitty. Where are these lanterns Yox spoke of? Scenes can be skipped by holding down the Y button. No. You pet the cat. Its purring relaxes you. Your HP is restored. Oh, we save progress at cats. Okay, this game is now game of the year. You save at cats by petting them. Okay, well, there's an enemy, it seems. What is this? Should be a lantern here. Okay, I imagine we get one from, like, up here? Hi, friend. Engage, what are these? They look like the weird things from Wind Waker that get on you and slow you down. Uh, run away, a few units. Uh, how do we, like, end our turn? Because I can't really do anything. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I just totally missed it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to set you on fire thing. Nice. Oh, no, it lived. Please have mercy. Oh, cool. I got a great. It didn't have mercy, but I blocked it, so boom. If you won't have mercy, neither will I. Dead. I wonder if they have 3 HP, so if you get a great- oops, I screwed that up. So if you get a great, um, it one-hits them? Mm, yes, yes, that is the case. Cool. So battles will be much faster if I'm actually good at the game, which I don't know what that text box is, I just accidentally mashed through. Is it a new item? It might have been like a small mushroom or something, but we didn't get any equipment or anything, so... I don't think it's anything too crazy. That is an enemy. Come on, mushroom, let's go. Mushroom with eyes. Weird. You wanna fight me, huh? Can you hit me from that far away? You cannot. Okay, well, let's take your friend out first. Hopefully with a great? Yes. There we go. One hit, you nerd. Flying cat. Oh. I was totally unprepared on actually blocking that. My bad. But I got a great on you. Oh, and you're still alive. Oh, I thought I blocked that. Jeez. I thought I pressed A at the right time there. Okay. Well, you're dead anyway. Luckily. Because, uh, I was going to die if you weren't. And we got some small mushrooms. Good, because I'm gonna have to de devour those. Low HP. Yeah, I know. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. You find red mushrooms. Cool. I imagine the lanterns are just, like, up here. Oh, cool, it's this puzzle. The chest game puzzle from, uh, Majora's Mask. Um, hi. I want that treasure chest behind you. There's three of you now? Oh, no. Three weird little... What the hell do I even call you? I don't know. Let's intern. I should probably look at what my other commands are. I also need to pay attention to that turn order. Oh, it's weird that it goes left to right like that. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna have to keep that in mind, because I can see myself looking at the left side of the bar and being like, okay, that's who's going next. But no, it's going to from left to right, not right to left. View units. A mossling. That's what you guys are called. All right, well, now we know what you're called. I wonder if you guys are like... It doesn't say you're weak to fire. I would assume you're weak to fire since you're like moss, but I suppose not. Mmm, look at that great block. Beautiful technique from Marit. Boom. Dead again. Go ahead and try it. Bop. No, sir. So depending on how uh, common random battles like this are, once we get a bit further into the game, I might start cutting some of the fights out like I did in Bug Fables and, um, you know, Origami King and stuff, but we will see. We'll see how things go. I got a new spell, Fireball. 
So for now, we'll be showing all fights just because we're very, very much new to the game. But uh, as time goes on, we'll see. Increase defense by three for two turns. Can only be used in battle. Damn it. I was kind of hoping that was a permanent stat increase. <laughs> a la um, Dragon Quest and a lot of other JRPGs, honestly. But the seeds are specifically a Dragon Quest thing. This music is great. I'm really liking it so far. Excuse me, did that flower just sparkle? That flower is sparkling. Uh, how do I get to the sparkly flower, though? Let's see, we can't go there. Oh, we can go down here. Oh, okay. Oh, you're an enemy. Oh, no, it's two puff caps. I don't know if I can fight two puff caps. Let's see what my new fireball does. Deals lesser damage to multiple targets. Okay. So it doesn't do as much damage, but I can hit multiple people. Neato. Alright, well, how about we give that a shot? Why don't we? Fireball. Uh. Okay, I timed that horribly. Never mind. Never do that attack again. Okay, I actually blocked that time. Cool. Um. Okay, let's give Fireball another shot. We need to get used to this ability. It's our AoE. Okay, I can only get a nice with that one. It seems that I'm uh, much better at the other one. Uh, this should be... Nope. Gotta move back one. There we go. Boom. Boom. Okay, I just can't get a, um... Great. With that. Apparently I'm just bad at the timing for that one. But we got two small mushrooms. And money. And a moldy shroom. And a silver ring. What do you do? Right now I have a bark strip on, which does what exactly? Slightly increased gold dropped by enemies. What does bark strip do? Does it do anything? It does not. So that's just a useless item for now. I mean, we'll keep it, just in case it's important for something, but, uh, the Silver Ring's definitely better for now. Alright, what are you? Um. Oh, you found me! Hee <laughs> hee! Or half of me, at least. You got one more half to find, though. Later, Sapient Lantern? You do you, I guess. Weirdo. That was odd. Yeah, this music's great so far. I'm really in love with it. Alright, we should probably run back to the kitty and save. Uh, wait, what am I doing? This is not the right way. Go the right way, damn you. Down here. And kitty. Hello, kitty. You pet the cat. Its purring relaxes you. As cat purring is known to do. Oh, and I love that it says mew. Alright, we'll probably do a little bit more and then this episode off. Let's see here. Gotta fight against you two nerds. Kind of the intro to everything, so stuff always goes pretty slowly at the start, but... I feel like I'm getting a grasp on things. Boom. Burn alive. I find it interesting that my main character kills things in the worst way possible. Getting burned alive is, uh, rough stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty good at that action command. I'm just bad at the AoE one. So, oh well, more money, a red mushroom, ooh, bouncy shrooms, okay, bouncy shrooms, interesting, bouncy, bouncy, uh, what does going over here do for me, it just takes me over here, okay, so I wanna, whoop, I wanna get down to you though. Oh, there's one that hidden down there. I didn't see that. I'm gonna avoid you for now. Hot berry. Oh well. <laughs> We're gonna have to fight them. I tried to get around them, but I couldn't, alas. This is so fun. I'm so happy to be playing this. Like, there, there's some LPs that I'm just like ridiculously happy to play. And um, this, this is definitely one of them. I'm just having such a fun time immediately. I just love, like, JRPGs and, the, you know, just little turn-based RPGs like this. They've always been my favorite types of games, for sure. 
so the fact uh, that I'm finally getting to play one again, I think the last one I played was probably Fey Tactics. Of course, I guess Mario went on longer than that, so Mario, I suppose, but Origami King specifically, I mean. But yeah, this is still really fun. I'm just so happy to be playing a game like this. It's going to be one of those games I sit down and I'm incredibly happy to record every single time I get the opportunity. So I'll probably have way more episodes of this than uh, everything else, but... I'm also super happy to record the other two things I'm playing right now, so... Oh, it's a rock. How are we going to defeat a boulder? Or rock? Yeah, it's not a boulder. He hadn't evolved to be a boulder yet. You're still just a pebble. I was about to say, are you guys going to come? Apparently your agility is really slow. Oh, that's what agility does. It determines turn order. And like how fast you get your turn. Okay, so we want as high agility as possible. Usually in these types of games, I like to play so that my character is just incredibly fast and gets turns all the time. But fire is weak against rock. Wow, it actually is. We didn't do a lot of damage. Um, okay, we're gonna attack you with this because that's single target. And I'm better at doing the command for that one. Okay, I actually blocked it that time, at least. Uh, boom. And pop. Dead? Dead. Look at us. Defeating everything in our way, even rocks, when we're at a type disadvantage. Okay. Items, small mushroom. Lego. A common coin. Just two of them. Alright, I'll fight you. Sure. Like I said, I'll probably start cutting fights out at some point. But uh, for now, since they're new and I'm getting used to uh, the action commands and everything, we won't quite yet. But uh, yeah, we, we will eventually, for sure. Um, do I wanna... No, we're, we're, just gonna, we're just gonna do this. Let's ignite you. There we are. And I think you have one HP left. So, uh, I was I was trying to think about tactics instead of paying attention to the fight that's happening right in front of me. Boom, boom. There we go. That way I can do damage to you and finish the other enemy off. Okay, I'm bad at getting the good block against you guys, that's for sure. Bop. Goodbye, friendo. Yeah, do my little victory pose. Dun, 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 dun. Should I heal up? Might want to heal up. Let's just take a small mushroom, you know. Not any of the Mario variety ones, but a, t a tiny one. Alright, what's happening over here? You look like something's gonna happen when I open you. Rock. Fast lock it. Ooh, that sounds good. Speed up. Yes. Give me that. That'll be very useful for fights. Oh, you found me. Maybe I should have found a better hiding spot. Maybe you should have. I guess there's just one last thing to do. Burn down the forest? Please don't do that. Burning down your forest is not good. They give us oxygen. Trees are your friends. In fact, all plants are your friends. Except for like, poisonous ones maybe, I guess. I mean, they're probably still your friend, but you can't touch them. All right, so there we go. That's, uh, I guess this is probably where we're going to end off the first episode of Eichenfell. I'm having a fantastic time so far, and I, I don't know. I just love the aesthetic. I love the music. I love the humor. I love the combat. I, I'm just in love right now, if you can't tell. I'm giddy. It's love at first sight, it is. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this first episode, and I will see you next time for more Eichenfell.